Hi, my name is Hazem Shoeira. I am an endovascular neurosurgeon, and today we are going to be talking about how neurosurgeons can treat stroke. Strokes happen when there is a blockage in one of the blood vessels of the brain. When that blockage is in a blood vessel that is large enough, a lot of things can be done neurosurgically to unblock that blood vessel. We can do procedures like stenting. We can do procedures that can open up such a narrow blood vessel um, by the use of a stent or a balloon, or we can also perform what we call a thrombectomy. A thrombectomy is a procedure in which we go in in a minimally invasive way through the vessels, usually the vessels of the wrist or the leg, or even directly through the vessels of the neck, but without making any big incisions, tiny punctures that take small devices called catheters up to the face of the clot, and we're able to pull the clot outside of the body by the use of certain devices that are very, very highly technological, like aspiration devices and little stent retrievers. Those devices can help open up the blood vessel that was previously blocked and restore blood flow to the area of the brain that has been affected by the stroke. MIST stands for Mobile Interventional Stroke Team. This is our stroke team at Sinai that has the capacity of opening such blood vessels quickly. And we travel to the hospitals where our stroke patients arrive instead of waiting for the patients to be transferred to our central hospitals. The benefit of doing the MIST approach to stroke treatment is that we can get to the patients faster, we can go into their blood vessels faster and open them faster than we could ever do that before. An interesting fact about surgically treating stroke patients is that in some patients who are having problems with a stroke, weakness on one side, troubles with speaking, troubles with seeing, the moment we pull out the clot, they start getting better right there in front of our eyes. And patients who come into the hospital unable to walk or to speak or to swallow or to see can have improvement right there on the table within minutes. When a person is having a stroke, every minute that the blood vessel is blocked, millions of brain cells are dying. And it's very important to recognize the stroke symptoms very quickly so that we can get help very quickly. To recognize stroke symptoms, we often tell people to remember the acronym called BFAST. B is for balance, E is for eyes or vision, F is for face or facial droop, A is for arm or weakness of the arm, S is for speech, and T is for time. Any problem with all of those things that I just mentioned mean that a person may be having a stroke and it's time to call 911. If you or anybody around you are experiencing symptoms of a stroke, you should dial 911 right away with no delay.